This is the skull of a monkey who lived and died in the mountains of Nagaland in northeast India, probably at the beginning of the last century. It is now at the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology in Cambridge, part of a rich collection from the diverse group of peoples known as the Nagas. It is a complicated object, easily misunderstood. It has travelled great distances, had several owners and undergone a number of transformations. Each of these transformations tells an intriguing story. A story about violence, masculinity and romance. But also about anthropology, collecting and colonialism and the power of stereotypes. The skull was worn as a pendant around the neck of a young man from the Konyak Naga tribe in the village of Wakcheng. It was meant to make an impact. Its eye sockets were filled with wooden discs and finely trimmed goat hair was woven into the crown. It showed that the man who wore it was a warrior who had taken part in a raid against another village in which an enemy was killed and their head taken. Head taking was a problem for the British who tried to eradicate it. But many colonial administrators were fascinated by the practice and tried to understand it. They saw it as a hugely important aspect of Naga belief, influencing social status, relationships with enemies, and the fertility of the people and the land itself. Even today, stereotypes of headhunters and warrior cultures influence how Naga people are presented to the rest of the world. But not all Naga objects are about headhunting. The catalogue card for this artefact in the museum tells us that it was in fact worn by young men when they went courting. It was donated to the museum by John Henry Hutton, a British colonial officer and deputy commissioner of the Naga Hills district in the early 20th century. Hutton took a keen interest in anthropology and collected many artefacts for museums in Britain. But this one wasn't just an anthropological specimen. He kept it mounted on a velvet-lined plinth and under its glass bell jar. Perhaps it sat in his home or his office, a memento of his experiences in India or of the Naga people for whom he had an enduring affection. <laughs>